Hello lovelies, my name is Mumta and welcome to my channel Geek Glitz in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. I make all sorts of videos, mainly Harry Potter, so feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So today I'm going to be talking about the Harry Potter Film Vault series by Inside Editions and they've kindly gifted me volumes 1 to 8 today. But this set actually is going to have a total of 12 books and they're all about how how the wizarding world was brought to life in the Harry Potter films. So there's loads of concept art and gorgeous photography and it's a wonderful collector's item for any fan who really wants to know all the nitty gritty details about how the films were made. So each of these books retails for $16.99 US dollars and currently volumes 1 to 6 are out but volumes 7 and 8 will be releasing on March 17th of this year so that's really soon and then volumes 9 to 12 will be released later in the year. So each book includes its own stunning exclusive art print and when all 12 books in this set are lined up together they form a gorgeous Hogwarts crest design along the spine. So this is what volumes 1 to 8 looks like across the spines currently and it is beautiful. So what I thought I would do today is give you guys a close look at volumes 1 to 8 by doing a book flip through and then I'm also going to give you a couple of details of what can be found inside these books so that you know what to expect. So let me start with volume 1 which is called Forest, Lake and Sky Creatures and it's got a stunning cover featuring some centaurs on the front. And there's gold foiling for the lettering and a beautiful gold symbol featuring a hippogriff and thestral. Each of the volumes has a different gold symbol that represents the book topic and they are all fantastic. This book has three sections, forest dwellers, lake dwellers, and sky dwellers. So it's a good overview of all the different creatures we encounter in the movies. Lots of gorgeous art and photography as you can see and really detailed accompanying text. For example, one of the things I learned from this book is that the final version of Aragog the Acromantula featured in Half-Blood Prince weighed three quarters of a ton, which is incredulous. And then the exclusive art print in this book shows the scene of Harry and Ron encountering Aragog in the Forbidden Forest. So now on to volume 2 which is called Diagon Alley, The Hogwarts Express and The Ministry. So this cover features Hagrid and Fang looking at The Hogwarts Express and the gold foil symbol for this volume has The Hogwarts Express. And the sections in this book are Diagon Alley, Nocturne Alley, The Hogwarts Express and The Ministry of Magic. There are some fun details in this book too about how CGI and digital effects would be used to enhance some sets. So for instance, two stories of the Ministry of Magic offices were created physically and then the rest of it was expanded digitally. And the exclusive art print in this book is of the Weasley's Wizard Weezes store in Diagon Alley. So now volume 3 is titled Horcruxes and the Deathly Hallows and the cover features the golden trio escaping Gringotts on a dragon. And the gold symbol for this book has a gorgeous Hufflepuff cup. The chapters in this book are the Sorcerer's Stone and then Horcruxes and Hallows. In these books, we tend to learn that certain props had multiple versions used for different purposes in the films. But there was only ever one Mirror of Erised created, which I thought was a really cool fact from this book. The print in this book features Slytherin's Locket and it's shown from multiple angles and perspectives. So volume 4 is called Hogwarts Students and the cover features various students on the Hogwarts ground and lake. The gold symbol here shows a lovely silhouette of the Hogwarts castle, trees, and lake. There are two chapters in this book, Hogwarts Students and the Triwizard Tournament. This might be one of my favorite books from the Film World series because there's a lot of details about how each of the Hogwarts students was brought to life. So for example, we know that Ivana Lynch, who plays Luna Lovegood, had a lot of knowledge about the books and Luna's character. So she brought that knowledge to her character in several ways and even made her own beaded hair ring that Luna wore to Slughorn's Christmas party in Half-Blood Prince. And the print in this book is of the Weasley twins flying out of Hogwarts in Order of the Phoenix while the students cheer them on and you can even make out some fireworks and an angry Argus filch. And now time for volume 5 which is titled Creature Companions, Plants and Shapeshifters and the cover features a beautiful fox the phoenix. The gold symbol on this book has an owl with some Hogwarts letters. The three chapters in this book are the same as the title. I loved finding out about the creatures in this book including learning that there were two versions of fox. 
a digital and animatronic. The animatronic fox had a lot of movements that were possible through the use of controllers. And one of those movements was Fox crying the tears that healed Harry in Chamber of Secrets. The print in this book shows Harry and Dumbledore looking at a reborn fox rising from his ashes. So now on to volume 6 which is all about the Hogwarts castle and of course features a gorgeous Hogwarts castle on the cover. The gold symbol shows both the Hogwarts castle and crest and is really pretty. There are just two sections in this book. Hogwarts Castle and Hogwarts Grounds. We get to learn a lot about Hogwarts in this book and it's really fascinating and I also love the artwork throughout it, especially the photos of the various portraits. A fun tidbit from this book is how a lot of the film's crews, actors, and producers were in some of the moving portraits. The print in this book shows a beautiful look at the Hogwarts Castle against a red sky. And now here's volume 7 called Quidditch and the Triwizard Tournament and the cover features Harry and Draco chasing after the Golden Snitch. The gold symbol here features a Quidditch cup and lots of Quidditch elements like the Golden Snitch and Brooms. The two sections of this book are the same as the title, Quidditch and the Triwizard Tournament. We get to learn a lot about how all the flying scenes for Quidditch came to life with the use of blue screens and we even find out that the Golden Egg weighed over 10 pounds. I love the print in this book of the Quidditch pitch and the Gryffindor and Slytherin players all geared up. And now finally, here's volume 8, which is about the Order of the Phoenix and Dark Forces. A Death Eater is featured on the cover, and the gold symbol here shows the dark mark against some fire and phoenix wings. So the two sections again are same as the title. We get to learn a lot about the members of the Order of the Phoenix and the various Death Eaters in this book. Like did you know that they added more layers of silk to Voldemort's outfit in Order of the Phoenix, the more power and substance he gained. So by the time the battle with Dumbledore at the Ministry comes around, Voldemort is wearing 165 feet of silk. The print in this book shows the various members of the Order flying, like Mad-Eye Moody with his cool broom that looks like a motorcycle rig. So that's it for this close look at the first eight volumes of the Harry Potter Film Vault series by Inside Editions. They really are a great read and full of gorgeous art, fun film facts, and basically a lot of information about how they brought the Harry Potter films to life. And as a longtime fan of the Wizarding World and a collector, I feel like there's still a lot to learn from these books, which is why I'm really impressed by them. So I will be linking to all of these books below if you guys are interested in checking them out. And do let me know below in the comments what you guys thought of these books and which of these volumes most interests you because I would love to know. And now I've got an exciting announcement. Inside Editions has teamed up with me for a giveaway of the Harry Potter Film Vault Volumes 1 to 8. So this means one lucky winner will be able to win all 8 of these books. So to find out how to enter, check out my Instagram post about it down below in my description because I'll be hosting this giveaway on my Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel Geek Glitz for more things geek and more things glitz and make sure to hit that notification bell to be informed when my new videos are up. And feel free to connect with me on any of my social media. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So come say hello as I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye!